I'm Alex Grieve, better known as Ivy Crazy. I'm Jason Glaze, better known as Van Gogh. And today we're going to do a live test and we're asking for your feedback. We've got uh, some antennas that I've been working on for the last few months and uh, this is to determine how well they work, really. Um, and I want your feedback, so please, after you watch the video, you see the test, please uh, leave comments below or on the forums. Let us know what you think. Um, we value your feedback. I want the best possible product. This uh, We're going to test with multi-copters because it is being developed as a multi-copter antenna, so no making fun of me. I'm not a multi-copter pilot. We know it. He is, so you can make fun of him all you want. Uh, Jason, maybe you can explain a little bit about what what we're trying to do here. What, what, what does this in test entail? Well, uh, different antennas yield different results. Uh, today, we're going to be testing different versions of the Cyclone antenna against each other, just a different combinations, just to see which yields the best result. Um, and then we're going to do a test, just comparing it to some of our proven uh, products that work really well, like the Blue Beam Ultras. We're going to test the, how this stacks up to this. One other thing to consider is that because it's a multi-copter antenna and multi-copters don't get, go nearly the distance as airplanes do, but they do typically go higher and over a pilot's head, this one has lower gain, but it also has a more isotropic uh, pattern, which means it doesn't have as much of a pronounced null over the top and bottom, but the overall radiation pattern out the sides isn't quite as great, which is what the aim of this antenna is. So, uh, What did you say the, the gain was, zero? Yep, zero wow. dB. It's yeah. actually flat zero, which is a Down there. ideally a perfect isotropic sphere. That's not actually the case. It's pretty close, um, but uh, I'm hoping it performs as well, if not uh, better than what we've done yeah. so far. Let's see what happens. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. All right, a little bit about the area we're going to fly here. I've got uh, obviously got a hill behind me. We're going to try to drop down below that. Uh, back in the background, we've also got some trees, not real thick, but good enough we should get an idea. And over here to my right is even even thicker uh, trees and some hills. Um, so we're going to try to stay low. Again, I'm a noob, so don't judge me too harshly here. Uh, so we're going to try to punish these antennas and see how they do. Okay, it looks like we're all set up and, and ready to go here. So uh, we're running 200 milliwatts, and we're going to be violating the Fresnel zone with only 200 milliwatts at uh, 2.4 gigahertz. So we're trying to damage the uh, video feed pretty hard. As you know, 2.4 doesn't quite have the penetration of 1.3, but it's, it's definitely a little better than 5.8 gigahertz. Um, we're going to try to stay together, but um, considering he's a much more experienced pot than I am, uh, he's going to end up following me. So uh, hopefully this goes well, and uh, yeah, again, let us know what you think. Jason, go for it. Well, that's clear as can be. Hold on. Five. A little bit weaker than four, okay. Pretty weak there, but not bad. Stay low over there. Swap the antenna real quick and go back up. All right, that was the four lobe on transmit. We now have a five, five blade or five lobe on transmit. So it's five to five, five to four. Let's see how it does. Jason? Are you seeing those? Okay. 
Yeah, yeah, there's a power filter line. It's all right. Go, go back to the field. Uh, oh, yeah, kids. Yeah, do the same thing. That's pretty solid. It's, you're behind the hill now. Very behind the hill. If you turn 90 degrees to your right, you're going to get better signal. So your head's blocking now. Turn the body in. There we go. That's cleaning up a lot. Hi, uh, you clear for the road? That's a power filter. That's something up to the battery. Go, go, go ahead and get low back here. Yeah, I gotta come around, keep it low, we wanna keep going back there. Alright, we're gonna bring her in, bring her in. Uh, we're gonna try to do a uh, cyclone versus air blade test. Uh, I got my tricopter fixed, so the broken arm was definitely giving me some trouble. Hopefully that was the problem. Uh, Jason's gonna run air blades. I'm gonna run cyclones. I got a four lobe on the tricopter and I got a five lobe here on my receiver. So I didn't know what the best combination was, so I'm just gonna guess. Uh, again, it's up to the viewers to tell me, yeah, that was or wasn't, let me know. So, uh, and then after this, I think we, uh, it's time for lunch. Oh yeah. I'm ahead of you. I'm to the right. Turning left, so we might cross back. So watch out. I'm low. You meet up at us. It's hard to follow on this screen. Alright, so that concludes our test. Uh, comment, let us know what you think. Uh, let us know what you think of the Cyclone. Uh, compare it to the Airblade, we did the best we could trying to stay close to each other, but um, yeah, that, that's kind of a tall order, especially yeah. when you're trying to drop behind objects and, and try to damage your signal. So uh, we did the best we could. Uh, more tests will follow, but I want to know honestly, what do you think was the best combination in the current form of the Cyclone? The 4-4, four 4-5? to, four, four to five? or five to five and in, in what in what way so comment let me know what you think and uh more tests are going to follow yeah jason thanks for being a better pilot than me <laughs>